Carl Bogar here for Kenosha Military Surplus for this week's edition of What's New in the Store. Last week, some of the items that we managed to acquire that will be out for sale this week. We've got a complete set of Russian sniper camouflage that does have the trousers. We picked up a World War II wool flight suit. We also have an Italian post-war San Marco camouflage pattern that has the trousers and attaching hood. We picked up some M56 ammo pouches. Picked up a couple pairs of nice jungle boots. Unfortunately, they're a size seven. Managed to bring in seven new cases of MREs. So if you're looking for MREs for paintball, airsoft, you have a couple in the car in the winter months in case you get stranded, we have them in stock. Picked up two really nice vintage M65 field jackets for the 82nd Airborne. Sadly, they're, they're small. Nice Afghan War Russian boonie cap. Excuse me, Soviet boonie cap. Um, a brand new bivy for the modular sleeping system in the woodland camouflage. We picked up a couple this week. Couple pairs of the wood, or excuse me, the green M56 cold weather trousers. Some Vietnam era 1911 ammo pouches. Couple earlier um, ACH reversible helmet covers. You have BDU on one side, you have DCU on the other. And we picked up a couple of the butt packs. This is the earlier version that does not have the, um, I think it's a 51 pattern that doesn't have the waterproofing material. We also have picked up a couple 56 patterns that do have the waterproofing material. So, like I said, it was a short week for us um, with New Year's and everything, but we do got some new stuff in the store. Like always, um, you can always come in if you want a copy of my book. I'm more than happy to autograph them for you. Here, they're, um, the Tet Offensive is $10, China on War is $15, and proceeds from the book sales go to help us continue the restoration of our building, um, primarily right now into our, our roof fund so we can get our roof um, we need a new roof, so if you want to help out. And also, starting last Sunday, we are now open on Sundays from 11 to 4. My son Elijah covers the store on Sundays. And on weekends, the museum room is open during normal operating hours. The exhibit currently is dress uniforms primarily from roughly the 1880s through World War II. We have a nice section on American uniforms, um, Army, and then American Marine Corps uniforms. We have a nice little British section, some women's uniforms from World War II, a couple German uniforms, a couple World War II um, combat uniforms, including um, the Marine Corps reversible camouflage and an original 44 dot or the P pattern camouflage that was German. So until next week, this is Carl Bogar with Kenosha Military Surplus and Historic Military Impressions, your premier provider of museum quality exhibits, programs, and authentic surplus. Have a great week.